After months of back and forth, the European Union and the United Kingdom agreed to a draft deal on Brexit. But there was not much for the UK Prime Minister to celebrate. Theresa May faces stiff opposition on this deal, not only from the opposition, but also from within her own party. She met with a cabinet at 10 Downing Street just a short while ago. That meeting is still underway and is expected to last for close to three hours. Ministers, including Brexiteers like Liz Truss and Esther McAvee, came to 10 Downing Street much before the cabinet meeting was scheduled to get a first look at the agreement. Theresa May is still trying to hard sell a breakthrough that has come after months of acrimonious negotiations in Brussels. But Brexiteers in May's party have accused her of having surrendered to the EU. They've been saying that they will vote this deal down. The Northern Irish party, which props up her minority government, has asked if the Prime Minister will be able to get parliamentary approval for this draft. Brexit will push the world's fifth largest economy into the unknown. Many fear it will serve to divide the West as it grapples with both the unconventional presidency of Donald Trump and the growing assertiveness of Russia and China. And if May's own coalition is not convinced, imagine the pushback from the opposition. And that's exactly what was witnessed in the British Parliament earlier today, a face-off between the Prime Minister and the leader of the Labour Party. Two years of bungled negotiations. From what we know, from what we know of the government's deal, it's a failure in its own terms. It doesn't deliver a Brexit for the whole country. It breaches... If necessary, I'll say it again and again to members on both sides of the House. Voices must be heard. I happen to know that there are visitors from overseas in the gallery. Let's try to impress them. Order, not merely with our liveliness, but with our courtesy. Mr Jeremy Corbyn. It breaches the Prime Minister's own red lines. It doesn't deliver a strong economic deal that supports jobs and industry. And we know they haven't prepared seriously for no deal. So does the Prime Minister still intend to put a false choice to Parliament between her botched deal or no deal? Yeah. Prime Minister! Can I say to the right honourable gentleman that he's wrong in the description that he set out, but can I also say to him, time and time again, he has stood up in this House and complained and said that the government isn't making progress, the government isn't anywhere close to a deal. Now when we're making progress and close to a deal, he's complaining about that. Can I just say, I think, I think what that clearly shows is that he and the Labour Party have only one intention, that is to frustrate Brexit and betray the vote of the British people. Jeremy Corbyn! Well, Mr Speaker, after the utter shambles of the last two years of negotiations, yeah. the Prime Minister should look to herself in this. Yeah. And she hasn't managed to convince quite a lot of people behind her. Yeah. The Rail Minister! The Rail Minister resigned last week saying to present the nation with a choice between two deeply unattractive outcomes, vassalage and chaos, is a failure of British statecraft on a scale unseen since the Suez Crisis. And that from a Tory MP. Yeah. Last night, the EU's lead Brexit negotiator reportedly told the 27 European ambassadors the UK must align their rules, but the EU will retain all the controls. Is that a fair summary of the Prime Minister's deal? Prime Minister! Can I say to the right honourable gentleman, as I have said all along throughout these negotiations, what we are doing is negotiating a good f deal for the United Kingdom. We're negotiating, we're negotiating a deal that delivers on the vote of the British people, that takes back control of our money, law and borders, that ensures we leave the common fisheries policy, we leave the customs union, we leave the common agricultural policy, but we protect, we protect jobs, we protect security and we protect the integrity of the United Kingdom. Yeah.